Hey, welcome back to Zang Band 2.7.5 officially. I don't think I mentioned that before. Uh, I want to start this episode with three statements Let me while I open. Uh, the first is an apology. I got the name wrong of the... <laughs> I, I'm going to catch out for this probably from fans, but from fans of the, the, the individual in question. Um, I, I think I referred to the author of the Amber series in the first episode as Robert Zlazny. Apparently it's Roger Zlazny. Um, so I apologize. I, again, I don't know this author. Um, I know he's very famous. I know he's very popular. Clearly popular enough to spawn this series. But uh, I don't know who he is. Second thing I want to mention it has to do with the Amber series as well. And that's, uh, didn't we just kill fucking Farmer Maggot's dog? What the hell is Farmer Maggot's dog doing in the Amber universe? I think if I, uh, oh fuck, I forgot all about this. <laughs> the clothes. Um, <laughs> if I um, created a variant... Uh, that was, you know, specifically themed to a, a given, um, you know, universe or what, what not. I think I'd go out of my way to make sure there were no old references to the original game in there. Even if you randomize, even if you just make call it like fucking, I don't know, Tony the the random dog instead of Farmer Maggot's dog. At least I wouldn't be like, oh, that's a Tolkien reference. The third thing I want to mention. Um, is much more to do with gameplay uh, because again I had time to at least at least scan through the uh, the freaking manual last night um, and there are uh, some things we've uh, well again there there are quests in this game we haven't even encountered that yet I don't know how to encounter that I don't want to face them but I will if I have to um, what are you doing come on there you go. Um, what was I going to say? What am I doing? Fighting him hand to hand. Who do I think I am? I was just watching an old... Uh, an old Angband video, and I forgot that I'm not a fucking paladin anymore. That's right. I'm a, that's a, let me show you the, the third thing I just remembered. Uh, or just realized, having read through the manual. Races now start with, um, in Zangband, as opposed to Angband, etc., a lot of races start with special abilities. In our case, we have, at level 2, so we hit it like 5 levels ago, we have the ability to cast some sort of magic missile that does more damage than our Malediction spell. Um, I don't know how frequently we can cast it, but let's press Shift and U, and there you go, we get to cast that. Oh, it costs 2 mana, okay. So it's even cheaper than fucking Malediction. Why aren't we just using that? Let's just, can we take a look at that? Let's do it, let's try it again. Doesn't tell us how much it is, but it, I, I did the math. It was more than the malediction spell, I believe. I mean, I gotta double check that. That is definitely something that this game is lacking: is a, a clearer definition of you know what, how much damage things do. When we when we go to BB, we can see that does forty three, but I don't know how much my thing does. I believe it did more. It was like five d six or something like that. Um, so we should be probably not even casting malediction. We should just be casting fucking. I mean, I can kill him manually. Oh, I got a trap. Oh, he's clear. What the hell is that? Um, oh, I didn't mean to disarm, but apparently I did it. I meant to look. <laughs> All right, we're not poisoned or anything. I don't know what the hell trap that was. Let's just see what it said. You f oh, I found a trap. Okay, good. Uh, let's try firing. No, let's not try firing. That's not MBB either. Let's shift U. A. Got it. Let's rest, because we have f so few hit points. we got to rest constantly. Let's also cast Light, M, A, D. All right. Um, well, why not Shift U? A, East. Did I do that wrong? Shift U, A, East. I don't know what happened the first one. Oh, I didn't concentrate hard enough. Maybe it has a higher fail rate. Let me Let me check that right now, just so I know. It does. It has a 9% fail rate instead of a 5% fail rate. So there is still some reason to use Malediction. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'll use Malediction again. Should be enough to kill it, and we'll get it off for sure. Okay, the yellow mold is dead. The leather gloves in my pack are cursed. Well, let's drop those. Drop H. We are definitely not getting lucky with the equipment we're finding compared to, again, like if you look at it compared to, I don't know if you, I, I think Angband 4.1.3. My guess, having I'm, I'm watching those video through right now, it's myself just to remember what that was all about. Um, and 
fuck, we could be, like, for instance, I'm, I'm not saying this would have been a good thing, but we could have been a warrior, like a dark elf warrior, and we would have had this. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I'm watching through those original Angband, Angband proper uh, videos right now, so I'm kind of in that mindset. Um, and I could certainly see we were finding, finding a lot better equipment, uh, that's for sure. But I think that might have been a function of... Well, it could be a function of two things, right? Uh, one could be just that... We don't need that. One could be 4.1.3 specific in the sense that... Um, in the sense that... Uh, sorry, I'm really scattered in my ability to think at the moment. Um, in the sense that... I think 4.13's objective, as we've mentioned a few times, was to... Um, Make sure that you know the, the game was as fun as it could be, and since ultimately you're trying to gather you know more powerful equipment, if they if they allow you to find it faster, it, maybe it eliminates some of the tedium of just you know the, the stretch of how long that game is. I mean, they're, maybe they're actually trying to cut down on how long it takes to grind through that game, because these games are a, a lot of grinding, and as a rule, grinding is not to my taste. But for some reason, it works for me. in, in the Moria, we don't want to go in there. In the Moria version we're playing right now. Um, I don't think we, why don't we get off this level? There's just nothing but fucking mice left. Um, are we going down or are we going up? We have lots of room in our th backpack. We can go down to level 3 uh, safely, according to my old logic. I don't know if my old logic applies, given how fucking uh, you know damaged or how low my fucking health is. Let's go over here. Nope, let's not go there. That's how confused I am. Like, what is, what's over here? Oh, mice. Oh, mice. <laughs> Fucking M A Nope. M B stinking cloud D. Shouldn't have cast it right to there. M B D. Let's cast it in like to here. Close. This is not worth uh, even trying to kill them all. There's no point. Fuck. Hey, welcome to level 8. Nice. Well, let's uh, see what we're going to learn. Uh, the second thing, besides being uh, 4.1.3 and trying to make things easier, this, of course, is based on a much earlier version of Angband. Maybe Angband as a whole got more generous with its uh, with its loot giving over the years between when Zangband came out, which I think this is 2004. I think this is even earlier than the last O Angband version we played, which surprises me. I thought it was still worked on today, but I guess not. Um, at least as far as I can tell. Confused monster re recharging, I think, is, is probably what we want. Sleep monster, I've confirmed, does... I mean, maybe it has different percentages or something. There's no real spoiler to say how how well it works, but sleep poison and black sleep seem to be the same spell, except for black sleep is cheaper. So I'll stick with that. Enslave undead, man. No, let's go with that. And then we'll take recharge next. If we meet any undead, we can... Fuck try to take it as a pet. Let's just go right down right now. So we're not dealing... Oh, was that a gelatinous cube? No, it's fucking Fang Farmer Magus Dog. And here we are. Not in perfect shape. Let's hit him with our magic missile. Let's do it again. Let's continue doing it. I think we can take him. He's a, he's a unique, and therefore I'm frightened because we are so weak, but looks like our magic missile is making short work of him. All right, we got him. We need 130 experience to get to level nine. Um, you can see, our finally our health leapt a bit. We were at 25 a second. We got eight out of that. So it's maybe we just got really unlucky in our rolls. I don't know. I don't know how that worked. But we were getting like one hit point per level for a while there. A lot of these pillar rooms. I don't mind it. It breaks things up. It's kind of interesting. But they are just walls. Are they even see-through walls? I'm not sure. No, I guess not. They're just walls. I, I applaud that. Like, I'll tell you something interesting. Is that uh, interesting to me? Completely boring to you. Um, let's eat e so that we get rid of it. Um, although it might have cured fear. I don't know. <clears throat> Shit, I'm not using my Mac spell the way I should be. Let's do it now. M A C. All right, there's another trap up there. At least we detected. I'm gonna try and disarm this. It worked. I think we're pretty good at disarming, aren't we? 
Very good. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and disarm traps to get some, some fucking experience here. Um, fuck, what the fuck was I saying? Oh. With Caverns of Zeskazian 2, my own roguelike, I have a, a little sub-quest of things I'm doing with it. Um, that, again, is of, of little interest to most, but I'm going to share it with you because it, cause it's on my mind in reference to pillars. Um, good, we got him in the magic. Oh, I thought he was a giant salamander. And that is this. Um, fuck. U, A. Can we do period for target closest? No, we can't. There we go. Rest. I made, in, in 1995, I started work on a collectible card game, which is an ironic thing to say, given... Not ironic, but it's an odd thing to say, given they're not truly collectible, uh, in the sense that they are... Uh, what do we know about this? Anything? Do we know? I should shift D it. It's not that they're not really collectible. I own all the cards. Um, but I nonetheless started working on a collectible card game because I was quite into Magic the Gathering at the time and I wanted to make my own version that was called Dungeoneer because it was about going into dungeons. Um, and I ended up making like tons of these uh, expansion sets for it. Like, I think there was like the core set and then there was like 13 expansion sets and all in all there are thousands and thousands of cards in this game that only me and a handful of friends ever play and we haven't played it in years to be perfectly honest. Oh, I was trying to press P. I don't want Prey. I want M-A-D. Um, but when I started working on Caverns of Zeskazian 2 at some point I made it a sub goal to try to find a home in Caverns 2 whoops um, for every single card that existed in, in Dungeoneer which are these thousands of cards so all the monsters, all the traps, all the room types all the magic items, all the spells, all the prayers and it does take place in the same world they both take place in Melanthus which is this fantasy world I made when I was 17 for D&D um, so they have some, some common ground to work from, but oh, we can study again. Let's browse. Uh, we want recharging. Um, let's gain a recharging. There you go. If we find a wand, we'll be able to use it more effectively. Maybe when we go back to town, we'll, we'll get a wand. What is that? The only reason this came into my head was um, we saw pillars there. There is a one of one of the card types in Dungeoneer is fixture, and one of the fixtures was pillar. And pillar in in Dungeoneer, all it does is rooms had a a SMAF rating, uh, which stood for size monster size, which is how much damage the room can take before it's destroyed because you're trying to destroy your opponent's dungeons. Monsters, which is how many monsters could occupy a room at once. Um, Adventures was how many adventurers could fit in the room at once, and fixtures was how many fixtures you could have at once. And you would play pillars onto an opponent's room, um, and it would it would count as fixtures. So it would just it would basically fill up his room with fixtures that you know, that, so he can't fit as many fixtures in that room if he wanted to. So it's kind of a, a minor curse you could put on his room essentially. Um, but because my quest to, to include in dungeon in caverns is to include every um, thing I have in Dungeoneer in caverns, I'm trying to find out how to add pillars. Like, what do I do with it? I mean, I could literally add it in a sense, and I might. Uh, right now, the room, when it, the room generation, if you're, it uses a bunch of different generation types for rooms. Um, or for, rather, uh, mazes, m maps. It uses cavernous, you know, uses cellular automata for some cavern types it uses a proprietary version for other cavern types it uses a BSP room generation for you know rooms with or maps that have rooms silver jelly I think they can drain your light I'm sure of it actually let's just hit them with a bunch of fucking magic missiles from a distance um And, you know, I, like I think I mentioned in an earlier video I only recently added the ability for it to make triangular rooms and circular rooms into uh in the mix. Um, it doesn't currently ever put walls out as pillars. It just doesn't do that. And I might start doing that uh, soon, adding in, you know, the ability to detect, hey, this is a room, and then calculating where should we put pillars that are symmetrical and all this stuff, and we'll just slap out some walls in the middle of a room. It never does that right now. So I guess that's how I'm going to implement it. But uh, the whole that whole fucking long thing I've been talking about only came to mind because I'm like, they added pillars here, but it doesn't seem to add a lot to the to the gameplay. It's to, it, a pillar is a wall. And I think one of my goals with um, 
with caverns has always been if I add anything to the game, it can't just be decorative, really. Uh, certainly, certainly nothing that looks like it should be a unique square can be just decorative. It has to be, it has to have a function. But I suppose if we add the ability to generate walls in the middle of rooms, that would be the the equivalent of pillars. Um, they wouldn't actually be called pillars. If you looked at it, it would just be called a wall, I guess. But, but I suppose that'll do it. Anyways, that was my thought process. Allow me my tangents, because the truth is, as we play these games, especially as you know, we play a lot of Zangban variants where we're meeting the same monster, and I can't really comment on, hey, it's a white worm mass. It can poison you. I mean, it can, but there, we, we just did it. We're done. It's slow. It can, re it can breed. Um... You run out of things to talk about other than, hey, I'm going to open this door, I'm going to pick up this item, blah, blah, blah. So if I have a random thought, I'm going to pursue it. That way I'm not playing silently. Why is it moving so slowly? I guess because it's coming to these intersections between these doors, or these pillars. Period. East. Yeah, it works still. I was making sure it's still working. Period. East. Got about 14 minutes left, and then I have to get ready for work. Hear the sigh in my voice. Oh, what am I doing? M A C. Stop being so dangerous, sir. If it was one thing I learned from a paladin in uh, in Moria way back in the day was yeah, always detect for those traps, man. That's, that'll save you a lot of grief. We're out of the trap detection range already, eh? It's very small. Not as small as I, or it's not as large as I would have liked or expected. I also wish it gave you a, a better um, notification of that fact. I mean, I guess we can't have sound because I've turned the sound off, but I'm going to use malediction. That yeah, worked. Um, but, you know, some, some form of indication that we're out of that range. Again, a nice green glowing line like they use in modern Angband, to the best of my knowledge, would be nice. Let's get that. Let's eat that right now. Free up the slot. Not a lot of monsters here, eh? Let's try Control F. This level looks reasonably safe. Reasonably, I don't know what that. We can um, look up on the. Uh, again, you have to go to the kind of like spoilers in. They call it spoilers on the Zangban website, where you can look up things like what does this mean? Uh, what does the spell do? Why the fuck is that a spoiler? <laughs> Why am I attacking it manually? What? All right, there we go. Light did not light the... Oh, that's why. There's a wall there. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? One of the spoilers is, you know, when you see this level feeling, here's kind of what it means. I did confirm, as far as I can tell, I've, I've accurately confirmed. Uh, Zangban does what Oangban did. Maybe Oangban got the idea from Zangban. Hell, maybe it... I don't think Oangban is a Zangban variant, but it might be. I don't know. Um... If it was, we shouldn't have played it first. But um, it seems like it can, or maybe Zangban got it from Oangban. It combines the uh, the level feeling of treasure and monster. You only get one level feeling, and it looks like I think. Why is he black now? He was white a second ago. I guess he's clear. Um, MBB. Let's hit him with a, that because I know it'll work. I know it'll kill him, and it'll. Uh, free up, or it'll, it'll automatically work. I don't have to worry about the magic missile failing like that one did. Or could have. Alright, we're getting better now with this mage. Getting more used to the idea of using a spell. It's going to be a slower, a lot slower combat than it was as a warrior. It's going to take us longer, I think, to get through the game as a mage than it would have as a warrior. Just by virtue of the fact that we had to constantly press these buttons. We have a lot of flasks of oil. Don't need them all, but we're not we're not at the uh What are you? An insect swarm. That's technically new. I don't think that maybe it's instead of a giant louse, I don't know, but I don't think that exact uh monster exists in Angband. But hey, there you go, uh let me just I think my one cat again, who's... You should be smart enough to open that door. We're not talking about turning a knob. We're talking about reaching out with your paw and pulling it towards you. You can do that. There you go. Your brother does it. Alright. Love that cat to death, but I... I 
surprised she hasn't mastered doors. Her fucking brothers were just about master turning on taps. And she can't figure out doors. What is, what's going on with these fucking... I'm pressing the wrong button. Pressing the wrong button. That's what's going on. How are we doing over time? Ten more minutes. something here. There you go. Whoa. Insect Swarm. MBB. Let's see if we can kill it with a simple spell. Yep. I assume they would re they, they would breed. I don't want to find out the hard way. They'd probably breed quite quickly. Oh, I can't get my MAC spell off. Okay, there we go. Sense the presence of doors. Okay, great. Come on, just rest. Oh, God. Jesus. Rest. Let me get, pull this thing towards me. Okay. Did I see something coming? Was that my imagination? Maybe. Is that the level? Have we done level three? No. There's stuff over here. Lots of stuff over here. M, no, not M. U, A, asterisk, T, U, no, I'm not trying to U, uh, sorry, fucking shift U, A, shift U, A, shift U, A, oh, it automatically targeted him, I didn't have to specify, which is surprising, oh, that's, that's because that's the last target I selected, when I hit the clear icky thing, I wasn't selecting a target, I was just hitting a, a given direction. So I guess as long as you don't clear out the target variable, you can continue... Oh, fuck. These rooms are hard to navigate because of that, those pillars. Um, in terms of using the period to auto-walk, you know. I guess as long as you don't clear out the target variable, you can still target him automatically when you have the automatically target the last target um, toggle switched to on in your uh, options. Your equal signs options. Oops. M B B West Rest. What are you? You look darker green. Just a standard kobold. Let's back off. Let's hit you with a magic missile. That did a lot of damage. Alright, we're doing okay. Despite having this preposterously low health, we're doing okay. I was going to hit them with Stinking Cloud, but that'd be stupid, given their, uh... Oops. Use a asterisk T. Use a asterisk T. A lot of fucking key presses. More than I am happy to press. This is an odd... You can't do those in caverns, I'll tell you that. You can't do an odd fucking... slanted room. That's interesting. We've never seen that before. It never even occurred to me to even add that. I suppose I could if I, f if I worked at it. I guess I know how to do it. It's just interesting. Get. <sighs> yeah, it's too many key presses. I like, uh, I miss the ang bed. There's gotta, gotta be simpler ways to do this. I'll get it to sell, I guess. Why not, right? Oh, it bit me. Screw you. Fucking insect swarm. Yeah, so each of the uh, races has a... Fuck. Has a unique ability. And for the Dark Elf, I think this is it. This is the only unique ability we're getting. Um, and I'll try and get an exact math going on on how much it does. 
We can probably figure out how much malediction does because it'll always update in the uh, in the browsing of the uh, book B. It'll probably always tell us. How much it does, but it doesn't seem to tell us here, right? Eh? That's just kind of stupid. Why did you not mention how much it does here? These things need to be fixed, people. They never will be if you stop working on this in 20, 2004. Whoa. A few times in this game, I. I'll t I've never, I don't remember this specifically ever happening in any of our sojourns in Moria or Angban. It's not a, it's not a unique new property of this game. It seems to be just coincidence. But I, I don't recall ever clearing rubble and being immediately ambushed by what was on the other side of it. It's happened to us twice now, at least in this game. And I don't remember it ever happening. Maybe the AI is different. Maybe they, maybe they move towards us automatically, even though they can't see us, and that wasn't happening in the other games, and therefore. Um, until they had a line of sight to us, they weren't moving towards us. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. You guys drop something. Drop some fucking gold. Drop something. I'm being so um, cheated, it feels like, in terms of the level of money I'm getting here. It's just insane. Let's use... No, it's not use. Let's M, B, D, East. I'm pretty sure they don't resist poison. The other ones do. Whites do, I think. I don't think green worm masses do. There's a way down. Even though we could go down, we're not going to yet. I'm going to finish exploring this level. I've got uh, f three minutes left. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to finish exploring this level. Maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even keep going until I have explored this level. Then, unless I've found a lot of gear, I'm going to position myself near a down staircase because we're going down to level four. Um, we are really, uh, really not getting lucky with the amount of you know treasure or, or items we're finding. It's really, it, it feels very stingy. And maybe that is a function of Zangban. Maybe that was one of the changes to Zhang Band is that, hey, we're going to be stingier with our with our gear. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, grinding for... Finding new loot should be exciting. One of the complaints I had against um, a very popular video game was Borderlands. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it when I could play with friends. I played it solo afterwards and was like, eh, and all of this. Um, but uh, as much as I liked that game, I hated the frequency of loot. Like, it was so goddamn... You found so much loot that it was just stupid. Um, like, it took more time to fucking pick up gear and look and say, is this better than what I have, and decide to use it or not, than it did to play the game. Like, that was the most common thing you were doing at any given moment, was comparing new gear to old gear. So I, I don't like too frequently a, a drop, you know what I mean? It should be a special occasion. If it, I didn't mean to do that. Um, finding... Finding something new that's worthwhile should be a special occasion, not an every few seconds thing, but I don't think we've had any special occasions yet <laughs> in this game in terms of uh, what we found. I can't remember finding anything of of note. I think we bought a few things. I don't think we've found anything. Have we? Are we using anything we found? We have nothing magical. Not a fucking magical anything. We have been very unfortunate in that regard. Maybe the cloak's magical. I think we found the cloak. Yippee. All right, let's go stand next to a staircase. I won't descend yet. Uh, oh, wait, let's go here first. And the reason I won't descend... Oh, there's a few little places to explore. I won't descend yet. A policy we introduced a long time ago in Moria, and I still think it's a wise policy, is you shouldn't leave a level um, right before you quit the round. Because sometimes I would, I would do that in Moria. I would go down to the next level, or I'd go back to the dungeon, say, and then... I'd come back to the game and be like, oh shit, I forgot I wanted to buy X or I wanted to go pick up this or something. So on the off chance that I come back and I'm like, oh wait a minute, there was something else I wanted to do, I'll still have that option. And if I decide that's not the case, all I gotta do is press a key and I'm down, right? I'm gonna stand right here and hope that I remember I wanna go down. I'm sure I will when I look at the map and see there's nothing left to explore. Okay, let me file save. File. There's no file save. Oh, that's because I'm in fucking... Whew. Thank God I didn't have file exit there. That would have been OBS Studio. <laughs> I'm playing in OBS Studio. <laughs> file save. 
if I'd have exited, I think it would have wiped the video. I think. I don't know what would have happened. Let's not find out. See ya.